Okay. But I dropped hella points out here. Oh my guy! My guy! My guy! Yo! Justin? Here. Happy Thanksgiving. I love turkey. <laughs> You're still undecided about college. Felician University, Mandarin College, and Millersville College will be visiting throughout the week. See guidance for more details. Sign up. Do what he said. Attention all seniors, starting now. Seniors appellate voting has been released. Check your school email. Vote me. Most gullible. Space. <gasps> Did you do that? Oh, ASVAB, November 20th at 715. If you want to sign up, go to Guidance and sign up and get ready, Bengals. Let's go! Last year, 29 trans Americans were murdered because of their gender identity, the largest number recorded to date. So far this year, there have already been 22 fatally violent incidences of transphobia in the United States. Because the victims of these sorts of hate crimes are disrespected, disregarded, and misgendered after death, the number may be far higher than we realize. These are their names. Felicia Mitchell. Kathalina Christina James. Zachariah Fry. Sasha Garden. Amia Tyre Berryman. Celine Walker. Dejanae Stanton. Sasha Wall. Keisha Wells. Shanti Tucker. Diamond Stevens. Krista Lee Steele Nudslian. London Moore, Tanya Harvey, Nikki Enriquez, Gigi Pierce, Carla Patricia Flores Pavon, Otasha Bell, Vicky Gutierrez, Siam Naj Carter Fraser, Nino Fortson, and Tasha English. Almost all of the victims are either teens or young adults. Join us in honoring their memories in a moment of silence. Remember their lives tomorrow, November 20th, on the International Transgender Day of Remembrance. To learn more about why acceptance and support are so important in our community, join the discussion on Fridays when GSA meets in C204 or CMIS Sayers. Guys, I'm Kaya. I'm Abby Darbo. I'm Eric Breda. I'm Megan. I'm Destiny. And we're in the AP EOC. <laughs> <laughs> this card right here that Destiny's holding, we made for Miss Gody because her husband passed away. Miss Gody is a really nice teacher and we always have fun and we always make her laugh. We decorated her window, but we were just redecorating. Yeah, so we so like just took it. We have a blast in EOC. She really makes it fun. Yeah. A blast. Yeah. And she we makes her happy. Yeah. yeah, she definitely is a good teacher. Uh, love, 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 love. My name is Melissa and today we are interviewing people for Thanksgiving. With us today, we have Chase. So, what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? I really love pumpkin pie. That's honestly my favorite food. I have to say, my favorite, my favorite Thanksgiving food it ha probably has to be s mashed potatoes or stuffing. Ew. Both of those are gross. Right here, we have D. Would you rather have Thanksgiving without turkey or without the parade? I'd rather have the turkey. Today we have Dylan. What is one thing that you are thankful for? I'm thankful for my family and all of like the opportunities I have for like education and like bettering myself. We have Bobby with us. Would you rather celebrate Thanksgiving without football or pumpkin pie? Oh, without football. Full out. I love pumpkin pie. I'm not leaving that behind. <laughs> I'm here with Chris Wambach, and who are you playing in A Christmas Carol? I'm playing the nephew Fred. You have done theater for a while now. Where did you get your start in theater? I started in the Dunphy School in second grade. I played Ed in Mighty Mines. Who would you say is your favorite role that you played? Um, my favorite role is probably George from The Wedding Singer because he was more of a free character. How do you think you grew as an actor? I think a good life lesson I learned was how to use time management to my advantage. What do you think is a life lesson that you've learned as one of your characters? As one of my characters, I think a good example would be Jonas, because I learned through Jonas how to like stand up for what you believe in. I'm here with Miracle. She plays young Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. So Miracle, this is your first named role. How do you feel about that? I'm pretty excited. You're acting under your double. 
Jeffrey Bowen, who is playing Scrooge, how are you mirroring anything that he does to so show that you are the same character? I just try to put myself in his shoes. What lessons have you learned from your character? I've learned that life can change many people with many different situations. I'm here with Tommy Hare. Hello. And who do you play in The Christmas Carol? I play Topper at the Cratchit's party and Undertaker Man when they're selling screen stuff. Can you tell us how you create diversity in the characters that you play? The best way to do that is to think of each character as someone different. Would you recommend other people who are not really sure about trying out? Would you encourage them to comment on your projections? I would because it can help you be more confident. Well, I've actually met a lot of people just by working there, acting, or helping out creating the stage. We're going to do Pin and Tail in the Turkey, so let's go. This is my mom hat. So one person from each grade is going to get a feather, and they're going to try and pin the feather on the turkey. Yeah, put it up. You can put it right on it. You can like... Oh. <laughs> right there. No, no, no I don't know. That's his foot. That's, so good. that's definitely his foot. Wow. Oh. It fell over. Two, three, four, five. Let's go. Where's the tape? It'll be gone. Oh, you're a little close. Oh, you're a little off there. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, that was like that was good. Good. You got the spirit, we got the scoop. <laughs> I can't see. What is what are we recording for? I wanna be on Bangle Bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>